Hey guys, Dynasty Warriors 6 here again with another Game Finds video. Uh, this Game Finds is fairly larger than the other ones, uh, most recent ones, you know. Uh, but it is uh, mostly PS2 with one Wii U title. So, uh, we're going to start with the PS2 stuff though and work to the Wii U. So, anyways, of course we're just going to kind of jump right into it. Um, ooh, excuse me. Oh, gassy. Um... So there was this one store doing uh, buy two, get one free. I mean, it was pretty good. You know, a pretty good deal, honestly. Oh, gosh, I'm all, ti I'm all tired today, too, driving around all day. And uh, we'll just kind of go right into it. Uh, the first game I picked up from this place, and they did the most expensive, and the other two would be free. So this one was free. I got Metal Gear Solid 2 for free, complete. This was the most expensive one. It was a Dead or Alive 2 Hardcore. Complete. And Kessin. Complete. So, those that was uh, buy, buy 2, get 1 free. Then, this was... Um, these were all just kind of bought randomly throughout stores at like pawn shops and at one at one game store. Uh, the, the next two games that were bought at pawn shops, and they were each $5 each, really good deal. Picked up Kessin 2 for $5. And Dynasty Warriors 3, $5. This game got me into the Dynasty Warriors series. Uh, this game is, I think, phenomenal, but it's definitely aged to this day. So, but it's a great game. Like, it definitely started the franchise off. I would say this game is the one that started it off. And the last one that was uh, purchased at, like, indiv like, individual on its own, uh, I got this at Game Haven. This was uh, $14. I picked up Ark the Lad, Twilight of the Spirits. Complete for $14. I know it's a little blurry, but not bad for $14. So that, Ark the Lad. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, next up, now this this bundle of games, this was bought, uh, this was uh, buy one, get three free. So you buy the, mo like the most expensive title, is you know, that, and then everything else under or equal to is free. So I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys know which one was the, the buy one, and then the, the other three were free though. Uh, this game was free. Uh, Samurai Warriors, PS2, complete. Sonic Mega Collection Plus comes with all the Sonic games for free. Resident Evil Outbreak, the first one. There's a Volume 1 and Volume 2. And this game was the one I paid for. This was $19. And it was Ark the Lad, End of Darkness. So I got both Ark the Lads on PS2. Really good, you know, really good to get both within the same week of each other, basically. Like a week and a half. So... Mark the lad. And the last game uh, is the rare surprising shocker game. Um, this was kind of a funny story. So we in Oregon, we have a mall called Washington Square Mall. And it has a GameStop in it. And I decided to swing by. And I was looking in the GameStop. And I don't know what, you know, like, I didn't know what compelled me to go to the GameStop and look. But I just kind of did. Well, I saw something there. And I, I was like, oh, no, there's no way they have the one. But the price was really high on it for the one that, it's, you know, like usually it's the one that is that was re-released and is cheaper now. But this one was like 45 And I go, why is it 45 It shouldn't be. And lo and behold, it is. It is the rare version. And I got Bayonetta 2 with the Bayonetta 1 in it. For $45. This game is complete. It came with both discs. Bayonetta 2 disc. And the Bayonetta 1 disc. I couldn't believe it. Like this was pre-owned. And I literally was shocked. I go you gotta be kidding me. I even asked the girl. I'm like before I bought the game. I asked the girl behind the counter. I go do you have both discs? Do you have both? And the girl goes behind the counter. And she checks and she's like yeah we got both discs. This is complete. You know this is complete. I go Oh my gosh, give me this game. This is, you know, and I, it was $45. And I go, that is still realistically a deal 
on this game because this game on eBay right now is selling for 70, 80, or 90, depending on you know the listing you look at. But my gosh, finding this game in the wild for $45, I know that's still kind of high, but it's like this is gonna be this is this is hard to find, guys. If you're a Wii U collector and you don't have this game, this is like the one you're looking for. And I couldn't believe my luck finding this one just in the GameStop that someone had traded this in and got rid of it. And I was like, my gosh, this is amazing. I just scored on Bayonetta 2 with Bayonetta 1. The you know, this is just gosh damn. You know, that's that that's that, you know, just that luck. You walk in and there's something there. Like you, I just had a feeling something was gonna happen. I was like, man, I think there's something. And lo and behold, out of GameStop with a very limited Wii U, not like a huge Wii U collection, a very limited one, boom. Got a Bayonetta 2 with the Bayonetta original. Definitely my crown jewel of my Wii U collection now. Um, I, I I can't believe I got it. I, I didn't think I was ever going to get it. Like I thought I was going to buy this game with just Bayonetta 2. I never thought I was actually going to get the chance to own and play Bayonetta 1 and Bayonetta 2 both on Wii U. So I'm so freaking stoked, guys. This is like just phenomenal. This is a, the freaking luckiest grab I've ever had. No, no, no. Sorry. One of the luckiest grabs I've ever had. But, yeah. Got real lucky, guys. Not even line. Scored Bayonetta. Got her. I wish I would score with her. So, uh, yeah. That was it, guys. That was my entire game finds. Um, you know, it was, I would say, a really rock-solid uh, pickups uh, with a lot of great games. You know, and good pricing overall. Very, you know, realistically small and that's how you definitely want to still do it now. You know, I know pricing is getting out of hand, but at least I still scored and I got Bayonetta 2 in the end with Bayonetta 1. I'm just saying that, you know, walking into a GameStop and finding it, my gosh. Whoever traded that away just clearly, you know, probably just didn't care. And wow. So, damn. A very happy, very happy day. Happy day. So anyways, guys, um, that is it. That is the Game Finds. I appreciate you guys tuning in. And I will definitely see you guys later. Uh, Portland Retro Gaming Expo is next month. So I'm probably not going to spend any more money on video games. I'm probably going to wait till Portland Retro. Save up my money a little bit. I'm probably going to walk in with $300, maybe $400. i am only going one day. Probably Sunday. I may come up with another video in the next two weeks or so. But it'll be probably a small pickups video with a very limited pickup. That way it's separated from the Portland Retro Gaming Expo finds. You know, I always try to keep the Portland Retro Gaming Expo finds its own entity. I don't try to, you know, dilute it with other finds. So I appreciate you guys watching and I'll definitely see you guys later.